All right, YouTube, welcome back. It is now episode, I think, number 13. I had to check my notes. Um, this is a milestone episode. We are about to progress to the World War era. Now, if you remember, I said I wanted to get up, you know, above 100,000. I wanted to make sure I was kind of breaking even from where we started. Um, we are going to do that. So, you notice we've got a freighter coming in here. Uh, coming right in here to our dock. And I want you guys to think how much... How much money is coming out right now? We're about to load all of our exports onto this freighter. How much money are we getting from this shipment right here? And I'll let you guys guess. Y'all have a guess? If you said $41,397, you'd be correct. That is 3,000 units of rum. Our Teamsters are really getting go are really going. We're really uh we're really producing, doing well. And that's going to get us over 100,000, because 73 plus 41 is over 100. And we're going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's go ahead and do it. And you know what? Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit play before we go on. Let's let's just make sure we get there. Uh, we also, uh, before I do that, we're going to fill a uh, trade route as well. I don't, know if I, uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but we did get another trade route demand from Lord Roger. And it is 3,000 units of ROM, which is perfect. It just works out perfectly. And what's good about this is you can see we were, we're selling this for 20% above standard. So uh, 3,000 units of ROM are going for 20% extra profit right now. So that's that's nice. And that's gonna t that's really why we're getting so much money coming in. A lot of that, you know, the majority of this money is ROM. And just like that, boom, 115,000. Just that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I must perfect. say I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so and difficult these days. Make it 117,000. We don't need more mandate. We're going on. We're done. We'll get an extra. We're getting an extra two thousand dollars. Why not? And guys, I think we're ready. Take one last look out of our colonial era and the uh, the old school roads, the beautiful palace here. That's gonna get relocated, and I need to customize that to make it look a little nicer. <laughs> anyway. It's time, guys. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? I think we should do it. All right, let's do it. Declare independence. We're gonna. We're not gonna prepare for war. We'll do that in another game. Let's spend the fifteen thousand. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Now I'm gonna show you one trick here, though. Okay, let's pay attention. There'll be a trick here. Let's hit play. Excellent. I knew you had a good head on your shoulders, and would want to keep it there. <laughs> I really, I like my head being on my shoulders. That's a good idea, Lord Roger. My heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first there time. There it is. We actually have roads now. Presidente. Yes, Penultimo. We've got some, uh, I'm not going to read all this. If you guys played the game, you know what's going on here. So let's hit OK. Here's a little trick, and it's it's not a huge, you don't, it's not really a trick. It's just something I like doing. Don't touch that dial. It's got Canal Uno all over it. We're not going to set the Constitution yet. Yeah, we, there's no way we can't get out of here. We can't get out of here, but I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna save the game I'm gonna save the game and then reload it because I don't want to worry about this yet I want to wait till we you don't have to do this But this locks in for ten years and I want to get just I want to unlock these two We've got four options in the in the World War era. Uh, these are all Cold War. We have to research these two. So We're gonna save the game and jump right back in and I'm gonna show you what happens guys. So be right back all right, we're loading up the game right now, and all we did was just save it and just reloading. So this is, you can see we got the screen here. Those are the, the, the my heads, uh, whatever those are called. We'll get those soon. Um, so yeah, we loaded up the game, and we don't have to worry about the Constitution right now. Now, if you click this, if you click the Constitution down there, uh, it'll pop up, and you'll be in the same situation. So I just don't want to set it yet. The reason why is I want to actually go ahead and research these two uh, these two constitution options, which are labor policy and religion and state. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to have a whole separate episode on constitution <laughs> because it's fun. It's really, really fun. Um, we're going to just go, I'll get the labor policy first. doesn't really matter. And then you can see we don't have much knowledge. We only had 27, whatever that production means, 27 current units product. I don't know. Well, we need more than that. We need 50, we need 1473. 1473 so in order to do that this is a good time and hopefully this may not be that long of an episode because i'm kind of i'm gonna jump into all the new buildings and everything probably in the next episode uh but for this one this is a good episode to focus on okay so what do we need to do when we get to the next era and this goes for cold war this goes for modern times 
first thing you want to do check your available upgrades check upgrades for your buildings that you've unlocked because we've got one here with the library and this upgrades only two thousand dollars increases efficiency by 25 percent that's just there's no reason not to do that in my opinion um now you see we got 125 percent efficiency now we got two people working there so that's going to crank up the uh the budget i mean the the knowledge production whatever they're doing in there uh, that's going to help. That's going to help us get this constitution option unlocked a little quicker. Um, and you notice this, this I'm not going to play too much in time for this game. We're probably going to sp spend the whole episode in March. Uh, there's another upgrade over here. This is a big one. Pirate Cove. This is a big one. And I know we have a commenter that uh, touched on this. Or it may not have been the exact upgrade, but definitely though. There's a work mode here. I didn't talk about this. So there is a work mode here, and I need to... I, I'm going to pause the video for a second because I need to shout out my commenters. So let me do that real quick. All right, I just want to make sure I get the name right. We got to shout out Jason Beal. Commented about this uh, work mode in the Pirate Cove, which I didn't even touch on because I usually don't set it. But this is actually a perfect situation where you would like you would actually benefit from using this. And I'm going to show you guys why. Uh, the timing worked out pretty well on this. We are just about to heist the Stonehenge. So we're just about to heist this this thing. We're going to just pick it up and carry it back to our island or our nation, whatever you want to call this. So what we what is actually a good idea here, normal settings, normal work mode's fine, but this one on dead man's chest, on a dead man's chest, duration of missions is decreased by 50%. I mean, that's significant. That is, that that it's you could do raids twice as fast, basically. I mean, that's basic math. But they have a 20% chance to die, so we have four... We have four uh, four workers here. We have four workers. Twenty percent chance. I mean, there's a chance none of them. There's a chance none of them will die. There's a chance one of them will. I mean, it's probability. But for the work for the the heist, we're gonna set this. We're gonna set this for the heist. It's gonna make it twice as fast. And what'll make it even faster is we've got an upgrade now unlocked. This is why I was actually going here. Uh, Three thousand dollars. That's definitely worth it. A real big telescope. Apparently, the telescope they have doesn't work. Maybe they just have binoculars or something. So. Increase efficiency by 15%. Of course, we're going to do that. So one thing I encourage you guys to do, especially and this goes for people who haven't really played the game before, or maybe just getting into it. If you played before, you know what I'm not. <laughs> you know what you're, you know what's going on. You know what you're doing. Um, you want to just check like that. Some buildings don't have upgrades. Dock does not have an upgrade. Um, we got a fort here. We've got some uh, cool upgrades. Both of these are now unlocked. Modernized weaponry and arsenal we can read in on all these but just check your work modes like if you're doing an island specializing on military like this, are, this will be worth it for you uh for me i'm not gonna worry about it right now uh this one's good enough utility installations you can see we've got ranches now this is up this is unlocked we can increase efficiency by 15 percent here uh this would be good if we were doing like if we were making uh you know we needed wool for actual production but this is only for the milk for the local consumption so i'm not gonna worry about that that's not worth it uh, we don't need to produce that any quicker than we already are. Uh, same deal on the cattle ranch. Uh, actually, this one doesn't have the... This is Cold War, so we don't have anything new here. We did do the manure fertilizer already. Um, sugar plantation. This one's not really worth it, in my opinion. It only decreases this budget by $3, and it's just not worth it. Um, let me think. What else? We got rum distillery. I don't... This, this one actually had one already unlocked that I did not touch on. Uh, Dunder Steel decreases sugar consumption by 25%. Now that's a that's significant. Uh, it does cost five thousand dollars, so it is a little pricey. But over time, that's going to save you a lot of money because basically you're saving 25% of your raw resources. So you're just going to be able to produce more rum out of that, which is really nice. So we've got three of these. That would cost fifteen thousand. I'm not going to do that yet because you know we're 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 making enough money on this right now. We're gonna we're gonna get a second industry going. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but we, it is important to have multiple industries uh, once you start getting progressing farther in the game. Uh, Teamsters, we have upgrades here. So just check all your upgrades. I mean, if you have multiple plantations, if you have different ones, check check everything. Check all your upgrades. It's really important. Like Catholic Mission, we don't have anything. Uh, Bunkhouse, I didn't touch on the rum distillery here. We do have the electrical stills or whatever the hell I just said. Electric st <laughs> Excuse me. Electric stills. Uh, obviously that's not going to be worth it because we don't have power yet, but when we do, maybe we'll see how much power we have. We'll see how much cash flow we have. That might be worth it. Uh, same with housing. We can actually electrify all these homes and those don't I mean, this is a pretty cheap upgrade. It only uses eight 
megawatts. So that's not a bit, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Uh, palace. This one I think is from the beginning. I just never touched on it. But anyway, check your upgrades. We got some fun stuff coming up. I might put both of these videos back to back because I don't want this one to be too long. And I've got an, I've got just more stuff. There's so much stuff to do in World War Era. So I might end this one now. But if I do, I'll post another one in the same day. And if you guys are watching, man, I, I appreciate it. And I hope you're having fun, man. I'm having fun playing this. So I just wanted to stream it. And not stream it. I'm recording now. I might stream some more later on weekends and things like that. But anyway. Enough of me talking, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.